automate media sequencing inside Adobe Premiere using NAN automation workflow. So all of the images, all of the footage will fit exactly where you need them to play based on the timestamp. And this will save you a lot of time putting together a long form video where you have a lot of footage and images to go into the timeline. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import our voiceover file. We're gonna drag that into the timeline and we're going to window, go to text, and we're going to cl click on trans transcript. So after we have transcribed our audio, the next thing we need to do is go through each of the timestamp and break up the sentences. The idea is that we're gonna generate a specific image for a specific sentences so that the video isn't repetitive. So you're gonna have more visuals on the screen to show. So for this, we're gonna highlight a sentence that we want to break up. And on the timeline, we're gonna simply hit Shift and I to move the playhead at the front where the word the is. And then we're gonna hit Control K to cut. The reason we cut is so that we can create a new timestamp between the in and out points. And then if we want to cut everything that's uh, ahead before these, then uh, all we have to do is highlight the sentence and hit Shift O. That's going to move the playhead all the way uh, at the end of the word U. At this point, we're going to hit Control K. That's going to break up the, that entire block of paragraphs into smaller sentences. So the idea is that we're going to go through the entire transcript and then break up all the big sentences and we're going to click on the three dots and export the transcription file as a CSV. So we're going to save it. And now the next thing we need to do is use AI. Now the next thing we need to do is using AI to go through the transcription CSV file, go line by line to create an image prompt for the, each of the scene. So right here, we already have uh, the CSV file uploaded. And what we're going to say is, and here I can type in, please go through each line and generate a compelling and unique image prompt. And now ChatGPT will go through each line and generate those image prompts. And just like that, inside this file, we have the start time, the end time. That represents the timestamp exactly where you want to show the image. And here's our transcription. And here is the image prompt. What we can do is copy this image prompt and open up another chat window and then um, create the image. Now that we have our image created, your job is to copy the next prompt and uh, create the second image. However, this will take a lot of time and it's not very efficient. And the thing, the workflow that I'm introducing you now is to use NAN. So the benefit of using this automation workflow is so that it's gonna save you a lot of time. You can simply upload your CSV file with the transcript and it's gonna go through each line, create the image prompt, create the image, and then upload the sheet uh, basically upload the image onto a Google Drive. It's gonna name everything properly. It's gonna name everything the way you want. And the goal is so that we can import this spreadsheet back inside Adobe Premiere as a EDL file. And it's gonna automatically sequence all of the images at the correct time. We're gonna tell it to convert the CSV into a EDL file, and then we're gonna import that inside Adobe Premiere. So inside our Adobe Premiere, we can simply go to File, select Import. We're gonna import the EDL file, hit OK. So after you import the EDL file, you're gonna get a bin inside your media library. So open that up, you're gonna grab the video sequence and drag that into the timeline. Just like that. Now, when you double click on it, you're gonna notice 
So you're going to notice all of the images are cut and trimmed to the exact time stamp so that they play at the correct time. So all you want to do now, because it's saying media offline, all you're going to do is select, the, select all of the media file and right click and go to link media and find the folder which those images are stored and hit locate. Hit search and then hit OK. If you wanted this automation template, just go down to the first link and try it for yourself. And you don't have to manually edit each one of the pictures to fit the correct timestamp. It's going to save you a lot of time, and this is a much easier process if you are making long-form videos with you know, 10 minutes long, 20 minutes long. This will save you a lot of time instead of manually dragging each image and uh, trimming them one by one. So I hope this helps.